We're back again with uh, conservationist uh, Colin Bell, who joins us on this Earth Day to focus on the theme that is, of course, protecting our species. And we're talking about some very shocking statistics um, that Colin mentioned earlier on that during the time from when he was born to where he is right now at 64, you said that we've lost about 90% of the lion population on the African continent. Shocking stuff. What seems to be the biggest threat um, to our endangered species in Southern Africa, would you say, Colin? <laughs> We've only got a few minutes. We do. <laughs> I think the, the combination of a rampant Asian economy with an appetite to consume wildlife products at a scale we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the biggest single problems. And we've got criminal syndicates who are extraordinarily well-versed capitalists who can make markets out of almost anything. And the combination of a big market, criminal syndicates, international cr criminal syndicates who operate in Africa very easily, and then we've got a diminishing wildlife resource. And the combination of all three are toxic. Plus, then you have to factor in the ex extraordinary growth of our peoples living around our national parks mm -hmm. and our game reserves, not only just in South Africa, but throughout Southern Africa and throughout the rest of Africa. So all of those things combined are a lethal, toxic, negative if we don't address the problems of today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I suppose we, we've got a limited amount of tools to be able to do this at the moment. I mean, you, you want a cohesive effort, but where do you start? Is it something like the last elements? Talk us through this offering so we don't run out of time to, to touch on what looks like the most amazing um, book. What's got into the last elephants and, and what, what are you hoping to achieve with this? Okay, this came out <coughs> of the great elephant census. Every so often the scientists do oh, censuses around Africa picture, and uh, they fly around and they count elephants. And the last census was done in 2016 and the results were shocking. We had lost something like in the last seven years before the census came out in 2016, we'd lost a third of our elephants throughout Africa. And there were pockets of even worse situations. In Tanzania, they'd lost 60% of the elephants in just five years. Mozambique lost 56% of its elephants in just five years. And it's that criminal elements coming through and taking advantage of poor conditions on the ground, people who are desperate for some cash, and they've been mopping up. We've had this elephant tsunami traveling, starting in West Africa, Central Africa, East Africa, slowly working its way down. And Kruger Park, for instance, had had almost no elephant poaching for decades. And then two years ago, bang, the first elephant started. Wave hit. Oh. And it's starting to now come down. The, the criminal syndicates are now focusing on the glass great herds of Southern Africa. Wow. Wow. And, you know, some words from, from the back of the book over there um, saying that we admire elephants because in them we see things that we... Uh, love, like empathy, uh, intelligence, Wisdom, but yeah. our treatment of them shows the very worst of us as humanity. What are we looking at right now in terms of the population on the African continent? Um, and, and so this elephant census was quite an interesting one. They came up with about 375,000 savannah elephants. Mm. Forest elephants are difficult to count because it's just thick yeah, forest. So we can work on about 425,000 compared to 1.3 million in the 80s. I mean, this is massive decline. And uh, we've got the situation where the elephant census gave us the results. We then decided, okay, how do we get the information out? Because people in Southern Africa don't know what's happening in North Africa. People yeah. in North Africa don't know what's happening in West Africa. So we put out a, 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 an email to a whole lot of different ele elephant experts throughout Africa. And we were amazed. People said, I want to get involved. I want to write stories. And we ended up having 42 chapters written by 32 different authors from all around Africa. And it's the stories of Africa all in one little book. And there's some shocking stories and there's some huge stories of hope. Mm. And what we loved are the stories of hope, yeah. where countries which were finished, places like Chad, Mali. You know, Mali, there's a group of elephants which walk around from Timbuktu in amongst Boko Haram and they migrate through different countries and they survive. And how do they survive? Is that there's a group of fellows who go along into the different villages and they take doctors into the villages. And the communities Trade. there see Trade, yeah. the, the direct link of elephants to their medical care. Then in other countries like Chad, there's a place called Zakuma National Park, an incredible national park where a group of South Africans have gone in, African parks, and have created the most extraordinary magic out of what was a completely destitute park. 
Colin, so, I, I, I really I wish uh, that we had more buddy. time. Uh, wow, thank you very much for, for joining us this morning. The Last Elephant is now available. Um, bookstores. Bookstores nationwide. Online. Get yourself a copy. In America. It, in Australia, in the UK, in China I mean, as well. We're trying for China. China yeah. I'm missing out. <laughs> but, uh, uh, with the amount of times that you mentioned Africa, I have a feeling that the answer lies here in Africa, one last bastion of where the wild actually is. So hopefully you can take on more just how valuable this is to live here, to have an access to this resource. Colin, thank you so much for the work you do every day. Buddy. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, another live performance from Michaela Clancy. And fish cakes. We are making Thai-style <laughs> fish cakes. We all like leftover fish after the Easter weekend. We'll see you now.